Ukraine would not have survived the initial phase of the war if not the support of the US, Poland and Britain. Poland's Prime Minister said on Thursday in Copenhagen. Mateusz Morawiecki made a remark while in Denmark for security talks with the country's Prime Minister Mette Fredriksen. Asked how the West should continue aiding Ukraine, Morawiecki said the country mainly needed more weapons faster. But I would like them to be exactly as Denmark and Poland. A longer uh, version of the same is to be more generous in terms of weapon delivery and, and uh, more quick. We also um, formed um, many coalitions within the NATO countries and European Union countries to support Ukraine. One of the coalition is the Leopard Tanks Coalition, and we've discussed this. Uh, I try to um, create such a coalition to, 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 realize, to realize it so that uh, there are tanks behind our promises and behind our, war, uh, our words uh, going to Ukraine. Right now in Poland, many Ukrainian soldiers are being trained uh, how to uh, drive those uh, Leopard tanks. And Poland will probably be first, if, or one of the first, who, uh, to send Leopard tanks to, uh, to Ukraine. We, uh, we need to be aware that we don't have a lot of time. Um, so we need to speed up our uh, financial support, our uh, First of all, military help. We need more donations, and we need to work very closely together to, to make sure that they have the capacities that they need. Poland, a key ally of Ukraine, has been instrumental in convincing European allies to donate heavy gear to Ukraine, including tanks, a move opposed by several countries until recently. Speaking on the eve of the anniversary of the start of the war, Morawiecki and his Danish counterpart Mette Frekliksen stressed the urgency of delivering support to Kyiv as Europe could not allow Ukraine to be defeated. Poland, Denmark and other allies will support Ukraine as long as it takes. War has been going on in Europe for a year, but we can be proud of our response. We work together to impose the strongest possible sanctions on Russia, to transfer all necessary resources to Ukraine and continue to support in a financial and humanitarian way, said Danish Prime Minister Meta Fredriksen. She also emphasized that Poland has provided enormous support to its Ukrainian neighbors since the beginning of the war in Ukraine. Fredriksen also thanked Morawiecki for playing an important role in NATO and the EU in the context of the war in Ukraine, and noted that we have to remember that we don't have much time, so we need to speed up our financial support. We need to give more and ensure that Ukraine has the necessary capabilities. Other NATO members realize that it is a race against time, that the situation in Ukraine this spring will be extremely important, and that assistance must be provided as soon as possible, Fredriksen said. During a joint press conference, the Prime Ministers of Poland and Denmark also announced that both countries will cooperate in the field of offshore wind farms and renewable energy sources. They also expect very close cooperation with the other countries of the Baltic Sea Basin. When asked about the assessment of the Baltic Pipe project in the light of the current situation in Europe, the P Prime Ministers agreed that it was an excellent way to diversify energy supplies. We must be energy independent, and our cooperation is a great example of how this can be implemented in a tangible way, emphasized Fredriksen. In turn, Mateusz Morawiecki emphasized that the cost of restoring peace in such a hypothetical scenario, if Russia conquered Ukraine, would be much higher than the cost that we bear today, together with the EU, the US and other allies. Morawiecki added that Poland would probably be the first and certainly one of the first countries to provide Ukraine with leaper tax. He added that the approach to war must be even more. We have to think about how to support Ukraine on its way to quick victory so that it can drive Russian troops out of its territory, the Polish prime minister said. At the same time, he stipulated that, of course, the Ukrainian and the Ukrainian government will determine how they understand the victory. Morawiecki added that it is possible to provide Ukraine with security guarantees, which would require the consent of all NATO member countries.